It's funny because when kids grow up dreaming about Akron, Ohio, they always think about LeBron James. That's all they think about. But when you from Akron, when you from the city, only thing that people think of, Larry Moses Bryant. Put the ball in the hole, man. You got to sit in there, man. I can't wait for my turn. Who need one? Who need one? Who need one? Go, go, go. You got to hold. You got to get up. Run, run. You got to get up. You got to get up. Mouth to the house. Mouth to the house. I'm on your team. Mouth to the house. Mouth to the house. Come here. And that's how we're getting play. Go ahead and give me a few words for sound, please. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, and now, from Akron, Ohio. Let's, let's let's just start with your name. Right, yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, my name is Lawrence Moses Let, Bryant. Oh, sorry. My name is uh, Lawrence Moses Bryant, uh, 33 in the age, and uh, most people, <laughs> most people call me the Kingslayer. Y'all got that? The Kingslayer. Kingslayer? Is that what he's going by these days? We had a different name for him back in the day. Sideline Larry. Yeah, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. He's gonna be good teammate. I want Yeah, everyone knows Larry. That's the boy who claimed he crossed LeBron. 20 years and heard about him and LeBron. I'll tell you one thing. The boy loved basketball. Come on, come on, come on. He ain't no good. But the boy loved the game. Mm-hmm. I like to incorporate basketball in everything that I do, especially work. Checkmate. Work with Larry, about five years now. He's entertaining, to say the least. You know, I grew up here in Akron, Ohio, uh, never left. Uh, this is my city, you know, locally harvested, homegrown, right in the epicenter. I am patient zero of Akron, Ohio. You know, I actually never left the city proper. You understand? Never felt the need to. You know what I'm saying? Because look around. <laughs> I live lavish. This is my roommate. Sorry, this, this is our house. This is my grandma. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, grandma. <laughs> yeah, I coached Larry back in the day. Was he the best player on the team? <laughs> no. Was he the worst player? These are my many awards that I have procured over my industrious career. My Catholic youth organization, uh, JCC Rec League. Um, this was my all-city mosque league. Yeah, they call me Brother Larry over there. Uh, Salam alaikum. This one is for uh, sportsmen, domination, being good. A trophy for being good. They ran out of trophies that year. That one was me. See these LeBrons right here? These are signed by Stan Van Gundy. I saw him at the airport one time eating at a Sabaro. I love me some Stan Van Gundy, but they get... I think you're doing a great job. Favorite basketball moment is when uh, Ron Artest punched that motherfucker in the face, in the stands. He hit that motherfucker so hard. He went up there, he threw a Coca-Cola in his face, right? Every year, wait for Coca-Cola. That shit called 1995 at the stadium. Did he do, he came out, he hit that boy in that face so hard. I said, I love this game, man. And also when Michael Jordan won the championships. I always loved the game. You know, some people call the game poetry is in motion. I guess I consider myself a poem. Out there, out there. Ever since that boy started telling people he crossed LeBron, he's been training every day. I keep going to the NBA. You know, every day I get up and I remind myself of the same thing. When they work, I work. When they eat, I work even harder. When they sleep, I, I sleep. I have to sleep. Uh, you know, everybody gotta go to bed. <laughs> Health reasons, mainly. If I didn't sleep, I'd be delirious. What are we doing here? Uh, what, just what? a couple of questions about LeBron and kind of growing up, Akron, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, once he got a rep as being, you know, the best player in the city and then the state and the country, obviously everywhere he went, people felt like if you show up LeBron, you can become legendary, infamous forever. Have it right here. The whole place was more crowded than usual. Yeah, I had LeBron there. I had uh, Mayor Pasquale. He was over there. I was following LeBron closely. Obviously, there were people who wanted to come out and get the best of him. So it's game point, right? 
and I'm bringing the ball up the court. Now, LeBron wasn't on me at first, so I called pick and roll, so now LeBron is on me. Now we in a mismatch, okay? Mouse in the house, okay? Indian in the cupboard. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's when I hit him with the, ooh! Hit him with the jab, jab, hezzy, cross! Larry, you got next. Ah! Do something with that. You got LeBron again last time? See that game, boy. LeBron went off. Your man's went big time. Game winner. Yes, sir. Let's get you looking nice for these cameras, Larry. Game, Larry, what you got all these damn cameras in my shop for? It's the 20th anniversary of the crossover, you know that. Boy, you walk around these streets every day like you some dang old hot shot. We all know you ain't crossover LeBron James. I caught the hell out of here, though, hating that. Hey, no. man, say yeah. something else. What you got? You want your trash picked up on Tuesday or not at all? Ain't nobody hating. I'm just a truth teller. That's no, all No, no, brother. I'm honest. Ain't nobody else going to tell you that, all right? I'm a friend, real friend, all right? I crossed over LeBron James. That's factual. Do you remember someone named Larry Moses Bryant? Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Oh, you remember him? Yeah. I mean, do you remember him ever crossing LeBron? Is that what this is for? Do I think Larry actually crossed over LeBron? If he had crossed LeBron, trust me, he would have been legend everywhere in Africa. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But he probably didn't. Look, man, haters gonna hate, you know, but you know, you always just gotta stay motivated. At the end of the day, Man, I crossed LeBron James. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna take that away from me. Who else can make that claim? One play in one game 20 years ago? Why are we even discussing this? Okay. What I'm actually saying. Okay, okay look, it, but it, it doesn't really sound like you're denying it. Hey, my father, say a few words to LeBron. I feel like that's the only piece missing at this stage. <sighs> LeBron, man, I gotta give it to you. No matter what happened at the park that day, you gonna always be the king. But you know where to find me. Here, I'll be here. I'll be here, this is my room, so this is where I'm at. If you come in, if you not, the screen does a screen door under the doorbell don't work, so it just make sure you knock on the window. You come around back if you want to. We got a beware of dog symbol, we ain't got no dog, he died.